Hello and welcome back to another tutorial with Mr. Petromo. Today we are going to go over WeVideo and all the basic tools found there. So this is a pretty general overview, but after this tutorial, you should be able to get a good start editing your own videos. So when you first log in, you're gonna be at the um, dashboard and you're gonna create a new video. So all you do is click on that video then you decide which folder you'd like to put it in. Once you have your feet wet on WeVideo, you'll be able to make um, folders like I do. But I'm going to just put this one in tutorials and choose start editing. And this is going to get me into the basic editor. Now, the three tracks that you have available are audio, video, and text. However, with this little plus button, you can add more tracks as you need them. And we're going to end up needing a few tracks. So you have two choices between video and text or audio only. So those are your tracks that you'll be able to do. Now, using our basic three tracks, we're going to go to the backgrounds and we're going to look at backgrounds. So it's this button right here. And we're going to look at the different backgrounds we have. In the preview window over here, when we click on one of these, it's going to preview the background. Now, these are motion um, backgrounds and we'll have several to choose from. You can scroll through and look at the library, but you also have solid backgrounds here where it's just a solid color. Not very many to pick from, but an assortment of colors. And then you have overlays and frames and we'll get to those in just a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is choose one of these backgrounds and I like the cloud one. So what I'm going to do is drag that cloud down into the video one track. And that will be my background. Now, it's only 10 seconds long. All I have to do to extend that is grab that side and stretch it over. And I can see the seconds increasing 57, 58, 59, one minute, one minute, four, one minute, five. So you can tell right here how many minutes you have. Now, when you take your selector tool right here and place it back at the beginning you can hit the play button and look at the preview that's going on in the preview pane so you can see if that's the one you like so i'm pretty happy with that one um you can choose a solid one though so it's the same principle you just drag that blue one down into your video one i'm going to make this a little shorter so you can see the see how they run together in the um, preview. So I'm going to put it back on the cloud, but I'm going to hit that preview and watch watch it run through the different um, solid backgrounds. So you've got the blue and then the tans coming up and then the green. So it's just a solid background. So you can stretch those and make those as long as you want. Now let's move on to the overlays. Overlays are certain objects that you can put over top of your video. So um, for instance, you can add snow over top of the screen. That's going to be hard to see. Um, so let's not choose that one right now. Let's choose the, um, the poof. That one should be good. To, we can especially see that on the green background. So I'm going to back up my preview and I'm going to watch that poof come in. And there is the poof. That is an overlay. So if you want it just a single time, you back it down in seconds until it's just the single poof there. And so you can put that over top of things to make them come into the screen or however you like. Works the same way with all these other overlays. You can also import overlays if you have them from another source, which is kind of handy. Um, frames are neat. Frames go around the whole outside of the, um, the frame. And you can throw those into text one and have it over top of your background. So the frame is invisible in the middle. It's just the framed outside. So there's only a few choices of frames, but again, you can import different ones if you like. Now, I want to talk about transitions now. Transitions will be um, right here on this button transitions. You have a bunch of different transitions and you can attach these to an object or a picture. So if we're going to, 
let's let's attach it to this frame and let's see how it works. Now, when you drag it down, it's going to attach to something and turn green. If it's not attached, it's red and it will not let you drag it. It'll disappear. So you have to attach it to the back end of that frame. Now, in order to get into the settings, you just double click it and you can make the duration longer. You can also choose from the different types of dissolve or the, all the different transitions are available right here. Now, once you're done, you can go back in your preview and watch that dissolve out. Watch the frame dissolve out as the settings come. Do, 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 and just the frame goes away. And poof, it's gone. So that's a cool transition. Um, music is right here on this button with the little music note. And that all belongs in the audio track only. The music files are separated from the video files unless you are recording video and audio together. And then they both kind of end up in the same video track. But for now, we're going to look at the two, um, the free music library and the premium music library. We have the full so school subscription, so we have access to all of the premium content. Um, if you're working on the free version, though, you'll want to stay in just the free folders here. But the premium content, there's a lot there. Um, you also have sound effects in the free library so that you can see, let's, let's look at those pigs. You got to put it, remember to put it in the audio. If I put it in the video or the text, it turns red and it won't drop. So I'm hoping my, my audio is not really loud. Let's see what those pigs sound like. pretty low if you can even hear it. So I'm not happy with that. I'm going to delete that one. And I'm going to turn my volume up a little bit. And let's see what we have with traffic. Put traffic in there. And yeah, that one's pretty cool. You can also shorten these and clip them. So if I only want part of this sound effect, let's see, let's look at this last loud part right there. You can tell it's going to be loud. No, it's not very loud. You can tell right where it spikes here on the audio file where the. So I want just this little clip. I'm going to slide my selector into the spot and then I'm going to use the scissors and clip it off. And then I can take this front half and delete it. Now I can hit the play until I get the audio in exactly the right spot. Right there. And then I can clip it again and get rid of the ha back half end. And then I have only the piece of the audio that I want. And I can slide that wherever I want in my video clip and uh, use that audio you can also import your own audio under the main folder here you have three options at the top to import audio record your own or narrate your project so you can click on those and select your mic and record your own narration of your video um, next let's take a look at the text boxes that is under the the letter a symbol so you have four different um categories motion static seasonal and call outs motion will be ones with motion attached somehow and there are there's a bunch in there but they're all different and it's very difficult to edit the motion out of these text boxes uh, these text boxes are really kind of built in and there's very little options other than maybe changing the colors of, of the font is about the only thing you can do but those also have to go in a text or video file. So we can drag one of those down here and put it into play. And here's our text box. Now we can get into that by going on these three lines and opening the edit or the pencil. And we can change the words in these boxes. Now, for each of the three lines in this one, you have some, some editing abilities. You can select the font, and you can resize them here. 
So if the bottom one is too big for me, I can I can switch to manual and I can resize it, make it a little bit smaller, and it'll change sizes over on your preview. When I'm done, I click Save Changes, and then um, there's my text box. All right, the next text boxes are the static text boxes, and those are pretty um, still. They don't move around that much, and they're more simple. So you can drag one of these, like the sample text down, and it is just a simple text box right here. Now you can double click and open it, choose the um, font here, the bold italics, and then you can color the background of the text box. You can color the font, the um, the outline or the highlighting. And you can play around with all different kinds of um, settings here. You can also change the size of it, the text to be smaller or larger. You can also do the line height and the spacing if it's a big paragraph. Um, but you can also come right over here and grab these corners and shrink it down and put it anywhere on the screen that you want to. But if you're going to shrink it, you got to shrink the size of the font too. You can also grab this circle and rotate it and put it at a little angle. So if you want to put it at the like at a corner, you can do fun things like that. And when you're done, hit that save button. All right, the next tool is the animations. <clears throat> and those are standard and additional. And there's a bunch to choose from, and they're a lot of fun. So one of my favorites is the dissolve. If you grab that dissolve and drag it down, you can attach it to an object. It has to be attached to either a text box or a video clip or um, um, an overlay or a background. So if you attach it there, and I'm going to attach it to this text box here, I can double click it and open up and lengthen the duration. One second is super quick for dissolve. So I'm going to put it on three. <clears throat> And I'm going to replay this text box and let's see let's see what happens. Well, I guess that wasn't the text box. That was the, the poof. Let's redo this. You can pull this right down and attach it to a text box. And then I can double click and open this up and increase the duration. So I'm going to put three seconds on this text box. And then I'm going to watch this text box dissolve out with that animation. There we go. So kind of fun. You can do, there's a bunch of different transitions. If you're familiar with Google Slides or PowerPoint, same principle on those transitions. Um, and then you can layer over top of text boxes. You could add three or four at one scene, um, whatever you want to do. Um, you can also insert your own media using the import button. So if you wanted to import, you can go straight to your Google Drive here, your social, or you can browse to select from your hard drive. And I am going to um, browse to select. Let's just put in Catherine de Medici. Let's put her in there. So once that blue squiggle line loads, it's loading right now, so you can't use it until it's fully loaded. There we go. It doesn't take very long. I can add that picture in to my video. And there we go. Now, say I want to put that text box in. And I want this picture in with that text box. I'm going to insert a new video track. Add, I'm just going to cl click this. I can change the name if I want, but I'm just going to leave it video too. And I'm going to add that track. Now I can take that picture and drag it up here and overlay it with that text box. So I can put it to where it's a little cockeyed, a little disjointed, and there's my text box that comes in. Now you'll notice that those are layered. And there is a reason why I showed you this, because this, the second layer is on top. Video 2 is on top. And so it covers the text box behind it. And if I want that the other way around, I have to swap these. 
I have to put the picture down below and the text box over top. Now, when I hit that play button, the text box will be over top of the picture. So mind your layers while you're doing while, while you're editing and doing multiple things. Um, OK, now we are ready to finish our video. We're going to go up here to this big blue finish button in the top right. And we're going to see our options right here where you can rename your video. We video will automatically number it like this one, but you can reset your name there. You can decide between SD and HD, standard display and, and high definition. Um, high definition is my favorite, but it's going to make your file size a much bigger and it's going to make it slower to queue and longer to download and upload. So you've got a decision to make there. Under the destination, this is very important. Um, the first option that's marked is just we video. If you want to send it right to your Google Drive, you can select that one as well, and it will save it both in we video and onto your drive. If you're a YouTuber, you can send it to YouTube as well. The last option here is to mark it as public or private. So if this is a private video, turn this off. The default is that it's public and other people can see it. So when you are done with your selections and you've chosen your thumbnail, which I do not have any options here, sometimes it'll give you an option, but more times than not, uh, we videos thumbnail isn't the one I want anyway. So I end up adding my own. Um, all right, then I'm gonna hit that export button and we video is gonna take it away. It's gonna be queued and it should be done in a few minutes. All right, my video is finished um, processing and here it is available now for we video. I can play the preview here or I can copy and paste this link and send it out to people. I can also share it right here to social or I can download it here with this button. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this video, but you can also open the sharing links and get your embed code if you need that to embed it on a website. You can also copy the link to clipboard right here and you can fiddle with the width and the height of the video manually here. So that is basic video editing with WeVideo. I hope you enjoyed it. And now you can go out and edit your own videos. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye.